Hello again. I couldn't resist the temptation to speak to you a little bit more while I'm in this absolutely idyllic place uh, called the Bay of Fires. I've been along in Tasmania. <clears throat> it's the northeast of Tasmania. Absolutely beautiful place and very hard not to, you know, relax and feel a sense of expansion. <clears throat> in that last video that I just did, I was speaking about the principle of limitation, resistance, <clears throat> contraction, which is primarily the domain of Saturn. Let's get a little uh, positive now and talk about the diametric opposite <clears throat> of that, which is expansion, and that is the realm of Jupiter. Expansion, growth, optimism, and uh, evolution. Astrologers say that uh, the planet Jupiter is responsible for that specific function within us. And how does that happen? <clears throat> well, a lot of people think that spiritual development, that mechanism of Jupiter, is to be found through, you know, the ritualistic practices of meditation, yoga, exercise, you know, that real discipline, that process by which, you know, we are here and then we're going to achieve something else. But I've found that it's a little different. It's actually a lot easier than that. And uh, here's another insight for you today that I'd like you to concentrate on to bring out that full flavor of Jupiter in your horoscope. And that is that <coughs> expansion is really just focusing your mind <coughs> pardon me, on an activity that you love. There's no resistance then. It's just a pure flowing energy from your own inner creative self to the object of your love. Is it poetry? Is it music? Is it art? Is it yoga? Is it running? Is it speaking? Whatever that activity happens to be, you'll find that that is the line of least resistance. And in your horoscope, if you have your horoscope, to look at where the position of Jupiter happens to be, you'll gain a tremendous insight into how easily you can achieve this state of expansion, this spiritual evolution, this so-called enlightenment, which incidentally I don't believe is anything at all what we've been led to believe through all these conceptual frameworks. I believe it's a natural state, a natural state of beingness, which can easily be had through simply being yourself, just enjoying the moment and relaxing into those activities that you love to do. But when there's a state of timelessness, when you forget about time, when you forget about clock watching, <clears throat> you're simply being in that natural state as one of the great masters called it Sahaja, Sahaja Samadhi, the natural state. There's no process, there's no activity that causes that to happen. You can't cause what you are. What you are is already a happening thing, a happening thing, as some people say. So just relax into that. That expansion will happen naturally. Don't fight it. Don't attempt anything. Just remain in this moment and enjoy what you naturally enjoy doing and allow that expansion, that process of Jupiter, to happen as it will. And I guarantee you, you'll feel a lot happier, a lot more peaceful, and um, you can start it right now. Enjoy it. I'll speak with you soon. Take care now. Bye.